This is Coe's forage sorghum. We've had people actually nickname this the Strickler sorghum because it's short and cheap. <laughs> really cheap. <laughs> it, it is an inexpensive sorghum because it's open pollinated, so you don't have to do a male-female cross. We can do our own seed production of this. And really for the cost, you get a lot of value out of this. Now this is not a new product. It's, it's kind of new back on the market. This is developed what, 50, 60, 70 years ago by the ARS out in Akron, Colorado. Mm -hmm. Because it was developed in that high altitude area, we tend to think that it does better with some cooler evenings and at higher elevations. You can see it's putting seed heads on. It's actually classified as a dual purpose sorghum uh, for either grain or forage. Uh, again, not gonna have the high end yield potential of some of the hybrids, but Dale, when and where would you use this Coe's sorghum? Well, you know, just like this year, um, you know, we're in summer 22 right now, and we've had severe drought. Mm -hmm. And of course, when you're in uncertain circumstances, sometimes the best option is to risk the least money. Yeah. Uh, but that very seldom is the best option to just plant nothing. So getting something cheap out there, get that ground covered, uh, the, the cheapest cover you can have. And a lot of times the, this coes fits that bill. And uh, it can be used as a silage crop, it can be used as a hay crop, it can be used as a grazing crop. It's pretty versatile, it's not great at anything, but it's good at a lot of things. And again, it's cheap and that's hard to beat. So, so it's probably half the cost of like a top line BMR sorghum. Uh, but you're getting way more than half the value and the benefit out of it oh, yeah. with not yeah. much risk. It's, you know, 75% of the benefit for half the cost. 